Hey guys, how you doing? Hopefully you're doing okay. I'm going to read through the full article here. It is fairly short. There is a link in the description. It is a tragedy and I have covered this topic previously, if you recall, back in May, really when the incident occurred. It's in regards to the disgusting murder of the young man that you see in front of you. His name, if I pronounce it correctly, and apologies if I don't, Azure Childs from Pennsylvania, nine years old strangled to death by his own father in may of this year um thankfully both of the parents have been charged in connection with his death allegedly the father 40 years of age john charles strangled azure dragged his body over an embankment and tried to hide it under a lawn chair behind a neighbor's shed this happened in new kensington pennsylvania uh, the article says a shovel was also used during the ordeal i'm thinking the shovel was used as a weapon as well as an in uh, an attempt to dig, dig a shallow grave The mother, whose name is Luella Elaine, um, you know, again, the pronunciation might be wrong, Luella Elaine. Um, she's been accused of giving the father access to her, their son, Azure, despite the father abusing the boy between November and May, November of last year and May of this year. There was an active arrest warrant out for the father. Why? Because the father had punched Azure in the eye in November. And despite that active arrest warrant being open, or whatever the correct term is, on the father, the mother still let this abusive father stay with them. Stay at the home. With Azure, the nine-year-old son, that... He ritually beat. By the way, Azure is believed to be a cancer survivor. He also had a trachoso... Uh, I'm going to pronounce this incorrectly. So let me show you the word. Uh, tracheostomy. Azure had a tracheostomy tube removed. And that uh, helped him eat and talk. He's a cancer survivor. To be honest, I don't know if that's an aspect of the abuse or if I don't know if, if that's an aspect of the abuse or not. But either way, I mean, this is a, a sickly boy. He's gotten over cancer. He had to have that tube to help him eat and talk. This is not a you know a f this is a very vulnerable human being a very vulnerable child ritually beaten by his father the mother allowed this to happen azure was found partially buried with his pajamas hanging from a nearby tree branch a shovel and the slain boy's bike were also found near the body and they had a uh, azure's dna on them a neighbor has claimed that they heard azure scream no 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 i'm sorry so the neighbor heard this nine-year-old boy who's been described as a really sweet kid the nicest kid the he headline tells us from a witness the nicest kid, he's put in a position where he has to plead for his life from his murderous own father. And again, the mother, she's been charged, um, the mother's been charged with uh, as being an accomplice to the aggravated assault of a child. The mother's been charged also with child endangerment and hindering the apprehension or prosecution of another person essentially the mother stood by essentially the mother 
um, was an accomplice would be my, yeah, I mean, literally charged with being an accomplice to the aggravated assault of a child. She's an accomplice. And she's an enabler. And I like using that word. I like stating my offense at uh, enabling. I mean, this is obviously an extremely, uh, an extreme example, an extreme case of enabling. But we do witness enabling throughout the day, you know, with our friends, with our family, with our co-workers. We see people doing bad behavior and we don't stand up. I, I do stand up as it happens. I always have. I fucking can't stop myself. I don't mind confrontation. I've Actually, I kind of like confrontation. I stand up too much. I put myself in danger. Um, it's something that I'm actively trying to do less. But I've done my part. In all honesty, I have done my part. And I'll continue to do so despite my efforts to try to cool things a little bit. Um, but as a community, as a society... Well, we have to stand up to those people that do wrong. And we also have to stand up to enablers. We have to say, hey, bitch, stop fucking enabling, you dumb fucking... You know what I mean? Like, we, we can't just watch people do bad things and then they have their flying monkeys all around them also doing those bad things and just ignore them. No, they know they've got eyes, they've got a brain, they ought to be able to understand wh what's going on. If bad behavior is occurring, it ought to be quite obvious to a grown adult, whatever that ba bad behavior happens to be. So, you know, I believe that as a community, we need to tackle not only the culprits of the bad behavior, but those that act to as an accomplice, act as enablers. Um, we've got to pull the rug from under them. You know, if we want to have a chance of like a normal, reasonable life with minimal badness, maybe I'm being idealistic, but I certainly have gone on a tangent and I apologize for that. The focus obviously ought to be on Azure. The father has been charged with first degree murder, criminal homicide, abuse of a corpse, unlawful restraint of a minor by a parent, strangulation concealing the death of a child and tampering with physical evidence he's got the father has got a number of charges against him um my take on it sheer speculation is the prosecution have got a lot of evidence against the father they've got a lot of, of evidence i think the mother is liable to cooperate she's liable to crack She's probably going to be handed a plea deal. She'll probably take it. And I don't know if I'm 100% angry with that. I generally, as a, a rule, I find something insidious about plea deals. But um, I think at least sometimes they can serve for the greater good. And if the greater good is guaranteeing a conviction against the guilty party then then i'm kind of cool with plea deals but i'm speculating in any case um the real tragedy is this charming young man this nicest kid this cancer survivor a boy who had a, a, a tracheostomy tube inserted into his throat so that he could eat and talk this is a troubled vulnerable kid who was nice but despite all of the difficulties that he faced and he had to plead to he had to plead for his own life in vain murdered by his own father strangled so i'm going to wrap things up here i would normally say condolences to the family of course condolences to the extended family the parents are disgusting and it's just hideous to think about, isn't it? That's, parents can do this. But they can. We see it time and time again. I'm going to wrap things up here, guys. If you appreciate the coverage, please do like, comment, subscribe, share the video as you see fit. Take care.